Welcome to another Getting Started video for AutoCAD Mechanical. My name is Matthias and this time I'll show you some AutoCAD Mechanical drawing commands by enhancing this drawing to make it look like this. In the end we'll have a top view and a sectional view of this gland. You'll also get used to work with layers in AutoCAD Mechanical. Now let's begin. I'll start with adding a center line. I click the command, select the start and end point and we have a center line. The command we just used is special to AutoCAD Mechanical and comes with a big advantage. Have you noticed the automatically created center line layer? That's where AutoCAD Mechanical places all center lines. You don't have to create or change layers yourself anymore. AutoCAD Mechanical does all the layer management for you. Now let's say you want to change the properties of all center lines at once or rename the layer they are on. Then just click the Mechanical Layer Management button on the ribbon or type AM Layer in the command line. By the way, the letters A and M stand for AutoCAD Mechanical. Now even if you change the name, all center lines will still be drawn on this layer. Next I'll show you another handy drawing feature, construction lines. Drawing becomes a lot easier when you use some of them and in AutoCAD Mechanical there are quite a few options to choose from. That means you're not restricted to the commands you might already know from AutoCAD. Of course you can still use AutoCAD commands too as AutoCAD Mechanical is built on top of AutoCAD but usually AutoCAD Mechanical commands are a bit more powerful and offer more options when it comes to mechanical drawings. Look what happens when I choose the automatic option. I want the construction lines to be horizontal pointing to the right. I select my drawing, press enter and I'm done. All construction lines in AutoCAD Mechanical are also automatically drawn on the same layer. Now it only takes one click to hide them or display them. And if I want to delete them later, I just have to click here. With the help of the construction lines, it didn't take long to create the basic outlines of the top view. Next, I'm going to add a centerline cross to the circle. I select the centerline cross and holds command from the centerline drop down menu and follow the instructions in the command line. In no time, we've created centerlines with the correct offshoot length from the circle, according to the standard we've chosen for our drawing. You don't have to calculate them yourself and there's no need to draw and trim lines by hand anymore. Now have a look at the layer the construction lines are on. I didn't change layers before I created the center line, but thanks to the layer management in AutoCAD Mechanical, they are in the right place. Let's go on and add two 8mm through holes. Rather than drawing circles, we will insert the holes from the content library. I select the hole type, the view, the insertion point, and the size. And this is far more than just a circle. For example, I can now simply use the power view command to generate the front view. Finally, let's mirror the hole to the other side. I specify the mirror line and we are done. In the next step, I'll draw the inner wall of the part. I work with symmetrical lines to do that. First, I select the center line, which defines the symmetry axis. Then I draw one half of the wall while the other one is automatically created. Next, let's project the inner wall on the top view of the part. I insert two more construction lines. and draw the circle. But wait, the circle must be drawn as a hidden line. In AutoCAD Mechanical, you don't have to change the line type to indicate that it's hidden. Instead, you create a height situation and choose which objects lie on top. This feature is very handy, especially when it comes to more complex parts. I only applied the height situation to the top view, as I'll now change the front view 
to a sectional view, and we don't need hidden lines for that. I start with drawing a section line. I select the endpoints of the section line and label the section view. Last, I add a hatch. I choose the hatch type and simply click in the areas where I want to insert it. And that's it, we're done with our drawing. If you want to learn more about AutoCAD Mechanical, you can watch another Getting Started video or just play around with the commands for a bit.